What's going on guys? Frank Rich, creator of Mastetic Muscle, coming at you today from the Critical Advantage Compound. And what we're talking about is we're talking about beginners. So if you're somebody just getting started in your muscle building journey, and you're kind of thinking about where should I go? What should I start with? We're gonna, we're gonna recommend that you start with dumbbells. So maybe you're not ready to join a gym and you're thinking about, okay, I'm gonna buy some equipment, I'm gonna buy some weights for my home. I'm gonna sell you that your best option is gonna be to get a set of dumbbells, at least a small set or maybe something that's adjustable so you can work through different weights or different levels of loads. And there, there's a few reasons why. Um, with dumbbells, you get more flexibility or more free range of motion. So obviously you get to work muscles or you get to work arms independently or isolaterally, which is gonna give you a great benefit for doing more natural movements. Barbells are great, machines are great. These are gonna be once you kind of advance through that six months a year and then beyond. But if you're just getting started, this is your first attempt at building muscle. Free uh, Dumbbells are gonna be your best option. Um, you can work every muscle group. You can train legs, you can train back, you can train chest, arms, shoulders. Every, every muscle has a way that it can be trained using dumbbells. And also guys, they don't take up a lot of weight. So um, you can keep them tucked away in the corner. You can throw them in your garage. There's just so many benefits that you have by having a small set of, of dumbbells. Um, like we talked about, the ability to work muscle groups independently or isolaterally is one of the great benefits they get by using dumbbells. Um, also, you know, co compounding movements, you know, these are, these are going to be multi-joint or multi-joint function movements. So these are easy to perform and execute using dumbbells. So if you're just getting started, guys, you're trying to think about where should I put my efforts and my resources, invest in a small set of dumbbells. Um, or if you are a beginner and you're not ready to join a big box gym, um, maybe join something small, YMCA, a local rec center, these are all gonna have dumbbells. So what we're gonna do here now is we're gonna walk you through a full body workout. This is designed specifically for somebody just getting started. So we're gonna walk you through these movements, kind of explain what you need to be thinking about, your execution when performing these, and how these workouts are gonna help you build muscle just getting started for beginners. So we're gonna start with legs. Um, we're gonna show you a few different variations of squats. Now what you want to think about and what you want to remember when performing a squat is everybody's body is set up structurally a little bit different. So a stance that I have is going to be different to, you know, from, from your stance. So before you pick up weight and before you start doing weighted squats, find what's going to be most natural, most comfortable for you. You don't want to get yourself into a position where you're working against your body's natural movement. So the first thing I do recommend is finding where your range of motion is and where your feet placements need to be. Now once you find that, there's a few different types of squats that you can do. Um, you can do a dumbbell squat where it's holding almost uh, a modified front squat. So holding dumbbells up here at the top, you know, just underneath or just above your clavicles. Another variation that you can do is going to be a goblet squat. So this is going to be one dumbbell just holding right underneath your chin. Now you can also do more of a sumo stance. So this is going to be a wide out, uh, feet wide out, to toes pointing out, um, holding a dumbbell just underneath um, your hips. So these are three different variations and these are all gonna work your legs a little bit differently. But for somebody just getting started, just you know entering the process of building muscle, this is gonna be enough for you guys to really put a little bit of muscle onto your legs. The next thing we can work on here is gonna be our back. Now we can do bent over rows. We can do these either single arm or we can do them two arms at the same time. Now, if you wanna be able to work all the different muscles through your back, you can do one with palms facing behind you, more of an upper back row. Now, if you turn your hands slightly in and do more of a lat focus row, keeping your, your elbows a little bit tucked closer to your side. So these two variations of a bent over row are gonna enable you to kind of hit and train all the muscles within your back. Now, if we turn around, hit the opposing muscle to the back, we can talk about chest. Um, now, obviously, the most simplest you know, uh, movement you can do with dumbbells is going to be a dumbbell press. Um, you can do it on a bench. You can do it on an incline bench. Maybe you don't have that. Just lie on the floor and do a modified floor press. Um, this is great because this is going to allow you to keep everything stabilized, keep your spine, scapula locked in place, and just really focus on moving the weight with your chest. Now moving up, we can talk about doing shoulders. Um, so this is gonna be either a seated shoulder press 
or if you want to get a little bit more core stability, get those legs involved in it a little bit more, you can do a standing shoulder press. Now, if you want to make this explosive, you can do a squat press, so a squat intro press. This is going to be a little bit more advanced. I don't know if this would be the first movement that you want to do, but as you progress, this can be a variation that you want to do. Now, for training arms, guys, this is everybody's favorite. Obviously, getting started, you want to make sure that you're hitting those biceps and triceps, building up those nice peaks. So with dumbbells, do your standard bicep curl right here, just keeping your arm up palms facing up. Make sure you get a little bit of supination. So bring that pinky a little bit uh, towards the shoulder at the top. Now another variation of a, of a dumbbell curl you're going to be able to do is going to be a hammer curl. This is obviously still going to work your biceps, but it's going to get a little bit of your uh, forearm and brachialis involved in as well. Now for our triceps, here we're going to do an overhead extension. So this, you would grab one or two dumbbells, depending on what's most comfortable for you. Keep your elbows tucked in behind your ears, um, not letting the elbows flare out, and just extending at the, um, at the elbow, really making sure that you're squeezing and focusing on those triceps. Guys, that's a workout I recommend for somebody just getting started, a beginner. Hit that full body workout three times a week, three sets of eight to 10 reps for each exercise. It's gonna help you build muscle. It's gonna set the foundation for you. Um, but like I said, guys, if you're just getting started, tr trying to think about, you know, where do I need to put my focus? Where do I need to put my effort? Dumbbells are gonna be the way to go. Really appreciate you guys tuning in today. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up um, and leave us a comment. Let us know what you thought. Let us know what you'd like to see in a future video as well. And we got something special we wanna give you guys today. I've written up a free report. It's three tips for building lean muscle mass. So if you're somebody that's looking to put on some lean muscle mass, um, we had this report we're gonna give to you. All you gotta do is hit the description box below. The first link at the top, www.criticalbench.com forward slash lean dash mass. Hit that link. Enter your email address, we're gonna send the report over to you guys right away. To make it even easier, guys, you can just hit this box right here, follow that same process, and the report's gonna be yours. Also, make sure to check out these videos right here. We got a lot more tips, a lot more info to help you guys build lean muscular physiques. Like I said, guys, really appreciate you tuning in, and we'll talk to you soon.